Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this video, let's talk about how we can use Selenium to web scrape a table and then write that to a CSV all inside the Wayscript platform. Let's get started. Starting out, let's say that I want to build this application for my team so they can go and scrape something using a Python script that I wrote and they can just access. Wayscript makes this experience seamless and we're able to create new scripts for any team that we've joined. So when I click on new script, Let's say I want to build this for my team called Avengers and we'll say Selenium scrape to CSV example. Once I create this, I'll be creating this script so anyone in my team can access it. The first thing that we'll need since we want to write this to a CSV is some type of tabular data on some endpoint. Let's go ahead and create that in Wayscript. This deserves its own tutorial, so I won't go too in depth here, but to create a simple website in Wayscript, we just need an HTTP trigger, and an HTTP response. Then we need what we're going to return in that response. For this example, I'll just use this table and we'll go check it out very briefly so we can see what we're working with. We'll drag that HTML code into that response content and then we'll turn this on. So the idea of this video is we want to use Selenium to go and scrape this table and then write it into a CSV document. Easy enough. So how we can do that is we first need a Python module. This will be how we use Selenium to go and scrape that table. There's a couple of options that we need to set up on our web scraper first. So let's go ahead and paste those in. We're also importing the regular expression library from the standard library of Python. These are the options that we'll be using to create a Selenium browser to go to this. Now what we need to do is we'll take this URL and let's say browser.get and then we'll pass in that URL. Next, we'll go ahead and paste in a few lines that are just going and finding that element on the web page. So if you're unfamiliar with what web scraping is, we're just going and finding an element on this page using this Selenium browser. If we wanted to print and make sure that we get that element back, we can execute this code, and then we see that we get that table back in our Python log. Great, now we just need to figure out a way to format this and to list values so we can write them in to a CSV. The way that I've done this may be completely different from the way that you would, so feel free to use whatever logic you want. For me, I know there's a string that signifies a new line whenever there's a new line in this table. So I'm just going through and finding the position of that new line statement, and then we'll use that position to create lists in the next set of logic. Before we get to that next set of logic, we just need to convert all those values that we're getting in this big, large string into individual string values, which is what we can do here. So we're creating a new values list that is split using that regular expressions library on empty spaces and there's new lines. So now when we run this, instead of getting back this element from Selenium, we should get back a list of all those individual values in that table. So now let's go ahead and create new lists from these values so we can write them to a CSV document. We can do that with some logic that looks like this. So what we're saying here is let's create a new list for every column in that table that we have. Then we'll go through and index that old list and write them back as variables in Wayscript so we can write them to a CSV. We'll click run code and we should populate new Wayscript values down here in the left. Now all we need to do is to write these to a CSV file. To do that, we'll use a loop and we'll iterate over each of these list values. Now that we have those, we'll pull in a CSV module, and we need to write this to a file. So we'll create that file, and then we'll choose the variables that we want to write. Now we'll go ahead and run this. We can click on that CSV module, and we'll open it up. And now we see that we have this new CSV file with all that information from this table that was found on this website, and we scraped it using Selenium. What I think are the cool takeaways of this video is that we're easily able to share these scripts with their teammates by building them on a team account. We're also able to input our own logic depending on the formatting that we need to do on that CSV or on that table element that we pulled from Selenium. So it's super powerful and the possibilities are endless. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll help you out. Until next time.